Good morning, everyone. I was making a joke with my, uh, with my staff saying, you know, this speech better be good because I've sure been talking it up all week. <laughs> so, Lisa, I want to start off by thanking you for, uh, for your kind introduction and congratulate you on, uh, on your new position. I look forward to working with you and continuing to build a strong relationship. You, already, uh, you are already a fresh voice in AUMA, and I know that we will all benefit from your creativity, energy, and innovative ideas. I will say that you have big shoes to fill, though, and so I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge outgoing President Helen Rice. We'll get you a couple of applause. I haven't even started to say anything nice yet. Helen, over the years, you have served the people of Grand Prairie, the Peace Country, and all Albertans with great passion and commitment. Thank you for your public service to Grand Prairie, AUMA, and the province of Alberta. And now, if you'd please join me in thanking Helen. <laughs> Friends, it's a pleasure to attend such an important gathering after only a few, month, or a few months after Albertans voted for change, a new government, and a better future. The challenges that our governments face are not small, but we are a diverse province with a strong, growing, dynamic population. We will stabilize public services to help build and maintain our communities. We will present a plan to return to a fiscal balance, and we will invest in much needed infrastructure. I'm looking forward to working with you to accomplish our shared goals and move Alberta forward. My friends, it's an honor to be the Minister of Municipal Affairs at this important time. For three years, I was opposition critic of this portfolio. I met many of you in this room as we discuss the issues that matter to you and your communities. Today, I'm excited to be in a position to act on those issues and make Alberta a better place to live, work, and raise a family. And I'll be pausing for uh, water breaks here and there. I see a tremendous opportunity to reimagine the vital relationship between the province and our municipal partners. We share a common goal, building strong, sustainable communities for the long term. Because we all know that thriving communities are crucial to ensuring a bright future for Albertans. Our government is committed to working with you to achieve our common goals. Our government pledged to provide stable, predictable funding to municipalities, both large and small, to make sure you have the resources you need to deliver the programs and services your constituents rely on. We made a commitment to maintain MSI in the election, and we are keeping that promise. Alberta families and businesses have asked us to ensure strong and stable support for local infrastructure, and that is what we will deliver. Albertans also elected their new government to protect core public services in their communities. We reversed the PC's cuts to the health budget, bringing stability to the health care system and peace of mind to Alberta families. By providing stable funding, we kept 1,500 nurses and healthcare professionals at work serving Alberta families. Earlier this month, Alberta's kids went back to school, and guess what? They had a teacher to teach them. This is because our government followed through on its commitment to roll back cuts to education and ensure our kids get the education they deserve. We're also keeping Alberta moving and supporting public transit through Green Trip funding. These are just a few examples of how our government is moving Alberta forward. As Minister of Municipal Affairs, 
I realize that part of moving Alberta forward means that the partnership between the province and municipalities must evolve. The landscape municipalities work in is more complex than ever. You are the grassroots of creating stronger, more dynamic communities. And as a government, we are committed to working with you to make life better for all Albertans. I'm here to facilitate the next step in that evolution between the province and municipalities. I see a new beginning for our relationship with a AUMA and AAMDNC. Our first step is completing the MGA review. After years of consultation and a lack of vision from the previous government, leadership is what the MGA review needs now, and leadership is what I'm here to deliver. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that there will be a new Municipal Government Act on the floor of the legislature next spring. I want to thank AUMA and AMDC for all of your hard work on the MGA review. We wouldn't be moving forward next spring without your valued contributions and participation in the process. Modernizing the MGA is critical to ensuring our province's future prosperity. The Act, with 650 sections, is our second largest piece of legislation and it affects every Albertan. The Act guides how we pay for our roads, where we build our schools, and how we develop strong communities to grow our families. Now, we have some heavy lifting to do because the previous government left many issues unresolved. We can all agree that there are differing ideas on how to resolve some contentious issues. I will lead us to resolution of these issues and we will get there together. It's time to turn the corner and modernize local governance and our relationships. This doesn't just require leadership. It requires vision. The current structure of the MGA has led municipalities competing against each other instead of working with each other. When we focus just on the lines on the map and let these invisible barriers define us and our interests, we end up competing with others who aren't our competitors. Fundamentally, <laughs> fundamentally, we need to recognize that our communities are interconnected and transcend municipal boundaries. The fate of successful communities and successful municipalities are intertwined. Success of a community, area, or region is dependent on the relationship between municipalities. The focus of the new MGA will be on working together, growing together, and making our province better together. My vision is that municipalities form partnerships, and find new and innovative ways to integrate services, manage growth, and use land to become better environmental stewards. Therefore, a key component of the updated legislation will be municipal partnerships. And I've got to say that when I learned of the theme of AUMA, I thought this is beyond serendipitous. I, I was quite ecstatic that Partnerships is the theme, and partnerships is what we'll deliver. It is imperative that collaboration no longer be left to chance. I am committed to providing municipalities with the tools, resources, and tangible support they need to forge successful partnerships. Our metropolitan regions of Calgary and Edmonton will lead the way and form growth management boards. More than four million people now call Alberta home. We are a young province 
and our families continue to grow every day. In fact, our population is expected to jump by another million within the coming decade. More than 80% of Albertans now live in urban areas, which is why we need a collective approach to service delivery, environmental stewardship, land use, and planning. These <laughs> These Metropolitan Growth Boards will be tasked with working together to create a more prosperous, modern, efficient and sustainable future for their regions. Some of the work and underlying foundations of these boards is already in place with the Calgary Regional Partnership and the Capital Region Board. As we move forward, we will finalize the precise composition of these new boards and their governance structure. We will work together in the coming months to determine the membership and nature of these new boards, just like we will work together to find solutions for the outstanding issues of the MGA. The new MGA will address concerns including off-site levies, linear assessment, affordable housing and transportation. I intend to steer us to resolution on all of these issues. But like every decision, our government will be thoughtful, prudent, and judicious. This is why, when I introduced the new MGA in the spring of 2016, I will engage in a province-wide consultation over the summer. I'll be touring the province and listening to Albertans before the final bill is passed in the fall of 2016. This will allow all changes to the MGA, including regulations, to be proclaimed before the municipal elections in the fall of 2017. Together, we will seize this great opportunity, modernize local governance, and form new partnerships for a new generation and a new Alberta. I will work with you to deliver the tools and resources you need to build thriving communities for Alberta's families. I look forward to ensuring that a new MGA passed by your NDP government is a piece of legislation that we can all be proud of. My friends, the era of competition is over. We will now work together to build our communities and set each other up for success. We are rich in Alberta with tremendous human capacity a spirit of innovation, community, and creativity, and much of it in this room today. My friends, I look forward to our new partnership and to an exciting new chapter in Alberta's history. Thank you.